Hey everybody, it's Kelly and I am back with day 29. So to remind you, this was day 28. I did the um, day of me coming back, um, coming home after my little trip away with the hidden journaling um, little spot there. So day number um, tw or 29, this is 28, 29, is going to be about the gifts that my clients gave me this year. I always like to do a page for that. So that's what this is. Um, I have a, a little photo of a lot of them. This is another gift that uh, one of my clients is one of my closest friends, so that she gave me. And then just a close-up of this darling little ornament that another client gave me about the being a massage therapist. And then because I like to list their names um, and that kind of a thing, I um, left myself a fairly large journaling card. If that is not enough, once I do the actual journaling for what this is, I'll stick a little tag or something behind there or maybe um, just make a little note to, to go over. So I'll have to remember that when I do day 30, not to attach them yet because that I might not want to do that. Um, so then I always, if I get cute little, um, tags, I like to put those in my book. So what I'll do is I'll just add those here kind of over the top of those tags, just as kind of a little memory. And I do know, definitely have an idea what I'm going to be doing for the last couple days of the book. Um, as I'm making this, because I'm a little bit behind, um, it snowed on day, um, 30 so um in a big snow so I'll do that on day 31 I'm having Christmas with um my um youngest nephew and his wife and their two kids it, it'll be quick but you know just getting getting together so the kids can open their presents for me and then um on the first I have some plans about some wrap-up stuff that I think that's how I'm going to handle day or not 30, 31, because 31 will be the presents on January 1st. I think I'm going to do some wrap-up stuff. So anyway, let's do today's um, page. And I like this little Hello Santa piece here. It did get a little marred, but I think I'm going to do that any, just leave it on here anyway, um, just because I, I like the the little sentiment behind that. That was one little problem with these is they... Once you took them off, they didn't stick all that great, and then stuff like that happens sometimes. Um, although, I'm looking at this, and maybe before I stick this, I should make sure I like, because it could go up here. And I also did grab these pieces here, so I could do like a little good cheer. There is a present here as well, too, to kind of symbolize the presence. I don't think I want to do that on there. I did grab all my red stuff. I don't I think I have a green stocking left, but not much else. And I don't know that the stocking is as appropriate. So this goes this way. So I don't think I want to do that there because it's a little echoey of that. I could do this here, like the little jolly piece. And then maybe the good cheer up here and to do something different, don't do it all the way. I did grab these um, little felt pieces from my Redefined Creative Kit, so I could those add those in there. I also could make the good cheer come off the side here so that I have more room for that. And I don't know if these are, actually these are not the same size. I think this one is a little bit smaller. So maybe I'll do that there. I wanna get some red and green. These are, you know, largely, um, red and green and I could do this little hello Santa banner up here which I think that's what I'm going to do um, that there maybe and because I only have three of them I think I'll just do this here that one there so I kind of have little red pieces on each of these kind of like the way that looks See, plan was to make that come off the side a little bit. I like that sometimes when things aren't, you know, when they come off the edge a little. I like the way that looks every so often. <laughs> and it's crooked. <laughs> of course, right? Let's see. Which, not that big of a deal. I'll just go this way a little bit yet. And then 
trim it up here. Not much there to have to trim. And then um, these are fabric. I think actually these are all about the same size. It's just a little hard to tell. And then I'm just going to grab a um, a little, is this a Zotz? I don't know. This is a glue dot. I mean, I knew what it was. I just didn't remember what brand name it was. And that's not being pretty good. So these are really hard to stick. And, um, you know, you guys had some great suggestions about what to use. Of course, I haven't done anything about that because I've been in the midst of December daily craziness. So I'm just going to try to get that stuck to the back of this little felt star here. And then I'll pop it on here. Okay, I think that works. And what I could do is add in, if I have any green enamel dots left, I could add them in as well. So we'll see. And I think all these are going to sit on the inside. I Sometimes I put them on the outside. I think these, because I don't really trust the glue dots completely, I think I'll do that. Do those on the um, inside so they're just a little bit more protected and then we'll kind of put that one there and then we'll do this little collage up here at the top that's my Christmas tree behind that basket um, but the tree itself is not really that important the important thing is the other part of it now I could also tuck up a little circle and I do have that circle. So maybe I'll tuck a circle up in there. I hadn't really thought about that there. I do have a little chipboard one too in that green, but I don't think that that will fit. And I'm not putting a lot on this card because I have a lot of writing to do. Uh, what I, what I think I'm going to do is just add the number there. Okay, so I think that works really well there. Uh, let's see if this looks, this piece looks good tucked up in here anywhere. Do I want to do that? Um, I don't think so. I'm going to keep the circle. I know there's two circles over there. I guess I could tuck it in here. I just think that it's calling even more attention although maybe that's not the worst thing i'm like it's calling a lot of attention to itself but is that the worst thing because it gives you a little bit of focus it's like you see this and then your eye goes down there this is kind of an interesting way to do this okay i think i will <laughs> something a little bit different and um, just that you know it's partially off the piece here and I can also change how that star is laying on here all right I think that's good yeah in the end I actually like that I do like the way it calls your attention here and then you see the stuff below it. I actually think it helps it. A lot of times when you put more stuff on, when you have that much stuff in a picture or more embellishments, it doesn't really help very much. Okay, then um, let's see. I don't think we want any. No, we don't want any green. That's good. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I need a number. <laughs> and maybe something about gifts down here. So let me see if I have anything. I have, um, let's see, I have this packages have started to arrive, but I think that's a little long. Oh goodness. It does not want to come off here. There we go. Maybe. I 
I guess that's okay, and I could put the date right there. And then I need a number. Excuse me. And let's see, today is 29. I like the idea of using green. So I think I'll just pop that right there. I do have these two little green asterisks here. I wish there were three of them. Um, yeah, that's good. Just a little something there, a little bit of green. Okay, so this I mainly have to um, journal on yet, but other than that, day 29 is done. As I said, I'll put the little gift tags right in the in my um, piece itself. I do have to do a little repair to this because I had to, the way it was on, I couldn't just take, it was how it was tied on. I couldn't just take it off. So, all right, guys, there's day 29. I will be back tomorrow with day 30.